So it's been a couple of weeks since I've tied a dry fly on the show. And for any of y'all who've watched this channel for a while, you know I love tying out of the Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Pattern Encyclopedia put together by Al and Gretchen Beatty. It's just a great book with over 1,600 patterns in it and 44 caddis dry flies in it. And I know none of us need 44 different caddis dry flies, but I'm going to tie one for you anyway because I love fishing them. And there was one in here that I'd never tied before, and it really just looked pretty cool. And it's unique in that it uses CDL fibers for the wing. And CDL is Coq de Leon, and if you look that up, warning here, it might translate to Leon's cock, but it really just means a rooster from the region of Leon in Spain. Regardless of how the feather got its name, this is a pretty cool fly. And one advantage I think this will have over my standard elk hair caddis is that with this CDL wing, it'll be a little bit easier to tie it down to an 18 or a 20. So there it is in the vise, a CDL caddis, CDL peacock caddis, Pretty nifty little pattern, not really hard to tie at all. Now I'm tying this on a size 12, standard length barbless dry fly hook. And if I was tying a bunch of these to fish, I probably would go a little bit smaller, 14s or 16s, but 12 is gonna be a little easier to see, and it's a fairly common size. So some gray thread, 70 denier, let's catch it in, take it back here to the start of the bend. Now the peacock part of the fly, just peacock hurl. And I am keeping this body really thin, so I'm gonna use just one strand right here. So we'll catch that in, and I guess I could just snip that off or bury that front piece right there. That's gonna be just fine. But with the thread back here at the back, we'll go ahead and catch in the hackle that we're gonna palmer up. And this one, we don't want it to be really much thicker than or longer than the, the hook gap. You don't really want to close that hook gap off, so I think that's going to be good about right there. And let's just catch it in back here at the, the back of the, the fly where we're going to start palmering it up. Now we've got that stem right there. You could either snip that or just not worry about it and bury it. But we'll leave our thread up here, maybe a third back, and then just wrap this peacock curl up. Okay, I think that is a long enough body. Let's go ahead and catch this off. A couple of wraps and you can probably just break that. And now we're gonna palmer this, this hackle. This is a done hackle, I, I forgot to mention that. So just as many wraps as you want. This is actually gonna help it float as well. The front hackle will be the primary uh, component that makes it float, but this will also. Now we gotta snip this excess and give it a little haircut on top. So I'm just gonna snip these right on top so that our CDL can lay flat. Now here's something I'm gonna try with this one. This is the last of that CDL feather. You can see I've snipped off and used a whole bunch of it already. But what I have left is the tip. So I'm gonna just try to bunch this up and use this as my wing. That's just about enough fibers right there, a little bit past the bend of the hook. So let's go ahead and pinch this, wrap it right here. Try to keep it on top. Okay, I think we have, and I think that's gonna be enough. So let's go ahead and snip this excess right here. And we'll take another done hackle feather. And this one, we do want it to be a little bit bigger, maybe one and a half times the hook gap. So I think that right there is gonna work. And since this is what's really gonna make it float, I'm gonna to try to get a good bit of hackle on it right here. Maybe four or five wraps, we'll see what that does for us. So we catch it in right in front of that wing, leave the stem till we get up there behind the eye. That way we don't have a, an artificial little step down right there. Now let's just wrap this hackle. Okay, I think that's five wraps. I wasn't counting, but it, it's enough. And now I'm gonna pull these back just a little bit, make some room for a whip finish here. It is a dry fly, so don't get too carried away with a big head here. I think that is small enough. Let's go ahead and do our whip finish.
And there we go, a CDL Peacock Caddis. Pretty simple tie and you know, I think that could be a pretty effective pattern. So I appreciate you watching everybody. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time.